The whole of the world will be hoping that Sam Ryder sings better than this. But these British fans who've landed in Turin have all the kit they need for Planet Eurovision. I've got a full space suit for tonight. It's a rather large uh, Union Jack shell suit and it's going to be very, very hot. For the first time you can feel how much everybody else loves our song and I've never felt that in the other nine contests that I've been to. And how do you rate our chances? We're going to win, of course we are. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't come all this way not to win. But some have realised that Ukraine are actually the favourites. So you've got half a Ukrainian flag, half a British flag yeah. on. Tonight I'm hedging my bets. I, I live in London and I'm hosting a family of Ukrainians at the moment. They've never watched Eurovision before, so this is going to be their first time. So either we're going to win or we're going to win. <laughs> As Kalush Orchestra finish their final rehearsals in Turin, across the city at this refugee centre, Ukrainians are hoping for a victory bigger than Eurovision. I think for my country and uh, also for Kalush Orchestra, the important victory will be a victory in our war. But I think they win because they're the best. Last year's winners know how much Eurovision can change lives. Maniskin have gone on to achieve global success and will be performing their new single tonight. How great is it for you to have Eurovision in Italy this year? A lot. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's amazing. Does it feel different to you this year? Yeah, we've got less uh, pressure now. <laughs> We're not in the competition. We feel very lucky and privileged to have the chance to share our music with that much people. Like, it, it, one year ago it was impossible to think about it, and now it's we do it on a daily basis. But for most fans here, this is an exceptional day. One where everyone can feel at home, whatever flag you fly. Hannah Miller, ITV News, Turin.